Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about subtracting sign numbers or integers. You should have seen my previous video on adding sign numbers. Alright, so let's start with number one. Super basic, 9 minus 5. We've all seen it, right? So, 9 minus 5 is 4. Now, if we think about it in terms of integers, why is it 4? We start at the number 9, and we're going which way? 5. Left, right? On the number line, this is our positive side, this is our negative side. So think of it as 9, but to the left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where do we end up? We end up at 4. Another way of thinking about it is, like in the previous video, I have nine positives. Right? I have nine green things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I have four that are going to go away. One, two, three, four. We're taking away four of them. So these cancel out. Or sorry, five of them. Every red and green cancel out. And we're left with four green. Okay. Now, what if we have negative three minus six? So that one's a little weird, right? So we're starting at the number negative 3. Start at negative 3 on the number line. And we're going which way 6? Since it's negative, we're going left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I end up at negative 9. Now, if you notice, this is really similar to the adding. It's really not a big difference. Because subtracting a number is the same thing as adding a negative. So anytime you see a problem like this, negative 3 plus 6, sorry, minus 6, what I always tell my students is turn that minus into a plus. Color. So this becomes a plus, and the 6 is negative. You're allowed to do that. I'm just switching. I'm taking that negative, and I'm just moving it up top. I still have two negatives. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. So when you see a minus, change it to plus and make the number negative. Some teachers um, teach keep change change. So we keep it the same, change it, and change it. So that subtraction turns into a positive, and then we change the sign of the number. Alright, so, number one, or sorry, number three, negative one minus six. Let's do this one together. So we're going to change the subtraction. We don't want subtraction. We want it to be addition. Addition's easier. It makes more sense in our brain. So we're going to make it negative one minus six. We're going to turn it into a plus, and I'm going to make my 6 negative. Now, negative 1 plus negative 6, we did that. Same sign, add and keep. So we add, they're the same sign, we add them together, and we keep the sign the same, negative 7. Pause the video, try the rest by yourself. 5 minus 8. Again, I don't like it that it's a subtraction, so I'm going to change it. 5 minus 8, I'm going to turn that into a plus, and I'm going to make my 8 negative. 5 plus negative 8. Now think back to your, our rules with adding. Are they the same sign or opposite signs? They're opposite signs. When you have opposite signs, subtract. 
So 8 minus 5 gives you 3. So is my answer 3? Take the sign of the larger number. Which number is larger? 8 is bigger than 5. Since the 8 is negative, my answer is negative. And if you think about it logically, you have five you only have five dollars, you owe someone eight, you're in the you're in the red negative three. You need you owe them more money than you have. Okay? So when we say larger, it's not really larger, the absolute value is larger. So five plus negative eight is negative three. Next one. Again, always first thing you should do, automatically change the minus to a plus and make the negative the number negative. So I'm going to make that a plus and a negative. So now I have negative 7 plus negative 11. Now are we adding or subtracting? Well they're both negative, same sign, add negative 7 and negative 11, so 18, we add them together. Is our answer positive or negative? Since those are both negative, the answer is negative. We dig a hole seven feet deep, then we continue digging 11, we're now in the ground 18. Last one, 18 minus three. Do we need to make that plus a negative? We can, plus a negative, 18 plus negative three. We're opposite signs, we subtract. 18 is bigger, our answer is 15. Kind of silly, 18 minus 3, you learn that in second grade, right? Just subtract them. Alright, so now a double negative. So when we do that change the sign thing, um, let's see what happens. It's the same process. When I see a, sub a subtraction with sign numbers, I'm just going to change it to plus. So I'm going to change the sign. But then, I, before, I made it negative. Well, it's already negative. So what's the opposite of that? Positive. So it actually just becomes plus plus. So we have negative 7 plus 3. Opposite signs, what do you do with opposite signs? Subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4. Is my final answer positive or negative? Bigger sign is negative. So my answer is negative. Done. Pause the video, try the others on your own. Now, instead of doing this double, making those both positive, here's what I like to do. When I see two negatives, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them, and it becomes a big plus. So 9 plus 2. 9 plus 2, 11. Done. I see two negatives. A double negative is a positive. That's true in English class as well. So all I end up doing is adding them. 10 plus 4. 14. Last one. I see two negatives next to each other with the parentheses like that. Two negatives become a positive. Now I have negative 19 plus 3. Same sign, different signs. They're both they're different signs, so we subtract. 19 minus 3 is 16. Is my answer positive 16 or negative 16? The bigger number is negative, my answer is negative. All set. Alright, one more set of problems. Oh, here's our song from before. So if you're having trouble remembering when to add, when to subtract. Same sign, add and keep. So when you have the same sign, you add them. Different signs, subtract. When they have opposite signs, you always subtract the number. Take the sign of the larger number, then you'll be exact. Whatever the bigger number is, the larger number. Technically, it's not larger, but we're going to pretend. Um, so whatever number has the bigger absolute value gets your sign, gets the sign. All right, pause the video, try these six problems, review of today, and we will be all set. All right, so number eleven. 
Remember, when I see that minus, automatically, first thing you want to do, make it a plus. So negative 8 plus, but we can't just magically turn it to plus. We keep that, we make that 21 negative. So negative 8 plus negative 21. Now, same sign, different signs. Same sign, same sign, add and keep. Add those together, negative 20, 29. Since they're both negative, our answer is negative. All set. Number 12. Yet again, same um, subtraction, turn it to plus. 4 plus 17. Can't just magically turn it plus, I wish, right? Make that a negative. 4 plus negative 17. Same sign, different signs. They're different, so we subtract. 17 minus 4. You can do that part in your head, that's awesome. If not, nothing wrong with writing it out. So my answer is 13. Is it positive or negative though? Who's bigger? 4 or 17? 17, which is negative, so my answer is negative. Number 13. Now for these, make my life a little easier. I see a double negative. When you see that double negative, turn that into a big plus sign. So I have negative 3 plus 8. Same sign, different signs. They're different, so we subtract. 8 minus 3 is 5. Is it positive or negative? Who's bigger? 8 is our bigger number. Since it's positive, my answer is positive. Number 14, again, I see a double negative. Double negative, connect, create a big plus. Same sign, different signs. They're different, negative and a positive. So we're going to subtract. 24 minus 10 is 14. And then check whose sign is bigger, or which number is bigger. 24 is the bigger number. Since it's negative, our answer is negative. 15. I only see one negative, so that means I'm going to change it to a plus. Negative 7 plus 11. But we can't just magically turn that to plus. No math magic. So that 11 is negative. So negative 7 plus negative 11. Are they same or different signs? Same sign. So we add them, 18, they keep the same sign, they're both negative, so the answer is negative. And the last one, 8 minus 3, this one we shouldn't have to do all this, right? 8 minus 3, learn that as a kid, it's 5, done. That's adding and subtracting sign numbers. Hope that helped, have a great day.